You're listening to Gigi Radio, the one and only Christian radio show for teen girls, with your hosts, Esther and Steph. Good morning, girls. Happy Monday. Hey, girls. Another week. And today's special, well, for me, because it's raining and it's beautiful outside. We do love this weather. It's perfect home weather, though. (laughs) Yeah, I know. So today, as you know the drill, we have a couple of new things to start the week off. That's right. We have the Artist of the Week. So uh, for this week, we'll be featuring for King and Country. So, yeah, I think you'll enjoy that. I know they're very popular. Very popular, Mm -hmm. yes. Um, We also have a new verse and a new challenge. Yes, the challenge. Plus right. new stories for the rest of the week. So what is the verse of the week, Esther? So this week we're looking at 119, Psalms 119, and the verse is 105. Now this is a really big um, psalm. Yeah, it's got hundreds of verses. Yeah, so we're just does. looking at, at one. At one. And he says, Your word is a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. I like that. God's like word is our light. It sort of it leads us through the darkness of life. I guess mm. helps us navigate. Yes, and it's because it's got so many beautiful things in it to help our lives. So yeah, I love that. Nice. I am going to learn that one too. And um, also, we have some interesting facts about hands. We do, but we have our challenge <gasps> first. Yes, let's have a look at that. All okay. right, let's give that a little. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, I like this one. This is like a nice one, not like one of those hard challenges. This is a fun one. So, girls, it says, send someone a snail mail. Oh, I love that. So, back in the day, before emails and technology, they used (laughs) to write letters um, or send a card through. So, that's what we want you to do. Post something out to someone. Yeah, and let us know. Oh, I love snail yeah, mail. I want to do that. Yeah. So uh, think of someone that maybe needs it or somebody that you haven't contacted in a while or even your grandma that um, even if she lives around the corner from you, but it'd be nice if she got something in the mail. Yeah. So think of someone that you can send one to. Use pretty pens, that. put yeah. stickers in it, just something nice that makes you feel special when you open it. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. Okay, girls, let us know and send us pictures of your letter ready to be mailed off. Yes. All right. Let's get into our facts, shall we? Okay, let's check. Okay, so girls, I want you to look at your hands, but your palms. So turn them over and have a look at them. All right, I'm looking. Do you have hair on them? No. They're bald. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it says that your palms do not have hair. I'd actually never thought about it. It just always... You assume I don't look at my palms. No, but then everything else, yeah, does have little bits of hair. Yeah, (laughs) fun fact. Okay, the other one says palms don't tan. Oh. So they don't get like sunburnt or they don't darken yes. in shade. Actually, that is true. Like wow. it says the skin there is unique. That's really interesting. I know. Okay. It says also um, the, the skin, I guess, on your palms are tough and durable but sensitive because mm. you know you work with your hands you do you clean everything yes but if you get burnt or your pinches are like oh yes it painful. hurts yeah. yeah so a lot of nervous on that yeah hand. and the other mm. one is that the wrinkles on the back of your fingers so when you do turn your hand over um are actually dimples and the little wrinkles there are for your i guess muscles and that to be able to be flexible because if you didn't have oh, those they'll be stiff. Be stiff yeah that is interesting i'm looking at them they do look like dimples and yeah. i always complain i never had one <laughs> So, yeah, wow. I thought that was really fun facts. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, so why are we talking about fingers and hands today or palms? palms. Well, hands, really. Hands, yeah. Well, let's something special with our devotional. So should we get straight into that? Yes. Oh, there is one more actually I wanted to add. Oh, yes. Um, and this one's to do with, well, it's with your hands and it just tells you just some mind-blowing facts. So it says that, that each hand contains, and even though everybody's different, this is pretty much the norm. This is from eatonhand.com. So they say that there's 29 major and minor bones, oh. 29 major joints, and at least 123 ligaments. There's 34 muscles which move the fingers and thumb, 17 in the palm of the hands, and 18 in the forearm. There's 48 named nerves, three major nerves, 
24 named sensory branches and 21 named muscular branches. Oh and my there's goodness. 30 named arteries and nearly as many smaller named branches. That is just on That's your so intric- hand. In, like intricate. Like I can't, I've never paid attention to my hand. No. So, wow. I thought that was incredible. I, like, yeah, hands are incredible. Wow. All right. That was really cool. Today's devotional is written by Renee Kempf Coffee. The Greatest Sacrifice Many people have seen Praying Hands by Albert Dürer, but not many know the story behind the painting. 500 years ago, Albert and his friend Franz Kainston were struggling to become artists. Their studies took so much time that they had very little time to earn money for food and housing. So they talked over and came up with a plan. One of them would continue his art studies full time and the other would work to support them both. When they cast lots, Albert won. But don't worry, he assured friends. When I'm done learning, I will come back. Then you can go to art school and I will earn a living for both of us. After a number of years, Albert returned home, ready to keep the promise he had made to Franz. But it was too late, for by then, Franz's hands had become stiff from the hard physical work he had been doing. He could no longer control a paintbrush as he had when he was younger. He had made a great sacrifice so that Albert could reach his dream. Albert continued to work as an artist. One day, he found Franz kneeling in prayer. Albert quietly picked up some paper and began sketching Franz's hands. From that drawing came praying hands. We have a plaque of the praying hands in our living room. Whenever I see it, I think of Albert and Franz, but I also think of Jesus. In my mind, I see him in the Garden of Gethsemane with his hands pressed together in prayer. I try to imagine what it must have been like as he made the decision to sacrifice his life in order to save me from eternal death. Someday, we'll see Jesus' hands and on them will be the scars left by the nails that hung him on the cross. Oh, that is sad. Imagine having a dream and not being able to get it. Because you just physically, you know. Can't. Yeah. Broken hands. I know, oh. it's sad. It's a beautiful painting. If you've never seen it, um, Google the praying hands. It is mm. beautiful. And so uh, a lot of people think that's Jesus', Jesus hands? hands, but this is this guy's um, interpretation of his friend's hands. Yeah. Broken and sacrificed. Yeah. Oh, too sad. I know. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's get to a song and then we'll come back. Um, so it's for King and Country and the song is Shoulders. I look up to the mountains. Does my strength come from the mountains? No. My strength comes from God, who made heaven and earth and the mountains. Despair holds me 
that I really like uh, too and this one says it was love not nails that kept Jesus on the cross oh that's nice isn't that sweet and then the other one is Jesus has set you free that's true I really like that so beautiful that it was because he loved us so much that he went through that um, sacrifice and he didn't have to no he didn't have to but he did so we hope girls that this inspires you um, of the sacrifice that God did for you and me so we can have salvation in him Yes. So let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you because we're starting a new week. We know it's never easy, but we know you'll get us through it. We ask that you um, you please stay with us. And more importantly, we just want to thank you for the sacrifice you've done to give us eternal life. We know it wasn't easy and we sometimes don't think about it. But Lord, we thank you because you loved us so much that you gave your life for us. Thank you, Lord, for everything and be with us this day. In your name. Amen. This has been Gigi Radio signing out.